what is going on everybody <clears throat> uh, this is a tutorial series I'm going to do uh, where we're going to create the dashboard <clears throat> should look end up looking something like this a uh, little handy dashboard that shows your um, CPU statistics core count CPU usage frequency uh, RAM stats and uh, a chart for your um, storage statistics <clears throat> and the cool thing about this is it's done um, via the web, web socket protocol um, so that kind of sets this project apart from um, any kind of like typical HTTP pull response um, or request and response protocol uh, so what we're going to use um, is going to be fast API for the back end um, and then we're going to be doing or using poetry for uh, like dependency management uh, I'll be I'll be throwing black in there just so we can uh, have something like as a development that dependency that we don't necessarily need um, for a client to actually use um, and then of course like I said we'll be using WebSockets for the communication <coughs> um, WebSockets with fast API um, on the server side and then um, for the client we're gonna be using uh, like a, a web application so we'll be using JavaScript um, to create the uh, the client WebSocket um, so with a typical uh, HTTP like request response um, type API you have you have a server and then you have your client and your client makes a request to the server and the, the server sends a response and then that's the end <clears throat> that's the end of the communication um, there can be additional communication um, from the client to the server, but the client has to request and the server has to respond again. Um, and that's pretty cool. <clears throat> um, however, wouldn't it be better if we could have an open line of communication where um, we connect to the server and then we just have like a, a bi-directional or, or a unidirectional um, communication aspect where we don't have to, uh, in, you know, request to the server for uh, like the ability to get data and then wait for the data to come back wouldn't it be wouldn't it be nice if we could just send without <clears throat> without having to you know resend or reopen headers um, just like a you know have a open form of communication from from the client to the server with all that without all that overhead um, and that's where WebSockets comes in so WebSockets are communication between the client and server um, however it's it's an upgraded HTTP uh, uh, connection so you you know you initially have an HTTP connection from the client to the server um, but it says hey I'm, I would like to upgrade our connection to a web socket in the in the server response and says yeah okay sure and then we have this uh, bi-directional communication between the web the client <coughs> and the server um, that's that's faster um, and is more geared towards uh, real-time applications um, for example like chat applications or, or game applications because we don't have all this additional overhead of of sending headers and stuff every every time that we uh, we make a request or, or parsing those headers every time we get a response so that's uh, the kind of the cool thing about um, you know WebSockets as a communication protocol so first things first uh, since we're going to use poetry um, let's go ahead and get that installed if you don't have it installed already so um, I'll link this command in the uh, in the YouTube notes here or whatever. Uh, but we're going to install um, with Windows PowerShell. I already have it installed, obviously. Um, and then if you go to the uh, Poetry website, we, we can look at that now, actually. The installation... installation instructions are out of date if you use this um, command here it will tell you to use the one it'll tell you to change the endpoint basically where we're getting it from which is this um, to the one that I just used so I'll, I'll link that in, in the uh, YouTube notes here um, but once you have that installed then we're going to go ahead and open up um, and I'm going to be using PyCharm for this. I suggest you do also. Once you have that installed, um, we can go ahead and create a new project. 
and so we'll be using PyCharm, um, and then when you create your after installing Poetry, uh, when you create your new PyCharm project, you'll be yours probably if you have if you don't already use Poetry, it'll your environment will probably be using uh, pip pipenv or virtualenv. So uh, go to go to the Python interpreter, um, select Poetry, and then select the base interpreter that you want. I'm going to be using 3.10, um, but I think you should be able to follow along using 3.7 or, or greater. Um, so once you have that, uh, those settings selected, hit Create. Um, it'll take a second to uh, set up the first time, but it shouldn't take too long. <clears throat> and then we're going to go ahead and go to our terminal here. Um, and there's some dependencies that we need to um, install first. So we'll do poetry add uh, fast API and um, to serve it we're going to be using UV corn so UV corn and then we'll, we'll need this specific install of UV corn and then uh, for the template responses we're going to need Jinja 2 uh, so we can go ahead and add those using poetry cannot f oh I spelled UV corn wrong So once we get those installed, we will also be using uh, black, but we're going to only need that um, for our, our development um, environment. So <clears throat> we'll be doing poetry. The, yeah, the way you do that would be poetry add black dash dash dev. And then once that finishes, we should be able to look in our Pi project Toml, and you'll see that. Uh, Um, <laughs> you'll see how to get a hold of me, um, but you'll have uh, you know Python Python version 3.10 or greater, Fast API, UVI Corn, Jinja 2, and those will be in our regular dependencies, and then in our dev dependencies we'll have Black. So um, let's go ahead and get rid of this template, and then um, just as a uh, like getting started um, template, I guess. Let's go ahead and uh, get our imports, which would be from Fast API import um, Fast API, which will be our app instance request uh, and web sockets, and then from UVCorn import run and uh, from Fast API dot templating import Jinja 2 templates and from fastapi dot static files import static files and that's all we need to get started um, and then we need to create our app instance so app equals fastapi and then to create our first endpoint just to just to get something done so we can see uh, we can do app dot get uh, we'll do the endpoint hello and then async function hello endpoint and uh, we'll be getting a request from the client and we'll return uh, template templates actually you know what we'll need to create our, our template um, template object so to do that we'll do templates equals Jinja 2 templates and the direct the directory will be templates and we'll go ahead and create that now so new directory and we'll call that templates and this needs to be a string uh, and then so here we'll do return templates dot template response and it'll be we'll return our uh, index template so it'll be index dot html and then also our request will be from the client request. 
request. And then if we create a new HTML file, call it index, and that'll be in our templates directory. Um, we can just do a simple h1 and a p tag um, in the body, just so we can just so we can see this running. And then at the bottom, we'll have to do uh, if dunder uh, name equals dunder main. We're gonna run. <coughs> Let's run our app on port 8080 uh, host will be localhost and we should be able to get hit our hello endpoint from this so if we go ahead and first if I got it if I have to uh, stop the uh, the example I just showed you and then run this and then we should be able to go to localhost 80 hello and have our HTML uh, served to us. So um, that's where I'm going to stop the first tutorial. Um, in the next tutorial, we'll uh, we'll go ahead and create a WebSocket in endpoint in our on our server, um, and then we'll start tackling some of the JavaScript code to create a WebSocket. Um, client um, and then after that obviously we'll kind of build from there um, but yeah thanks for tuning in guys and I'll check you on the next one